Hi students, this is Mr. Bruin reviewing our Mad Lib program. For those of you that missed it in class, we're going to cover it here. I have my Python 2.7.2 program open, um, which you can download at home. And from there, I went ahead and said File New Window, which is how I got this new programming window. I've already started the program. I've just written a comment in here on the first line, which you can write as you see here. Um, again, for our program, we're going to define a function as we have with all our programs so far. I'm going to call mine Madlib. We define a function by saying DEF and then a space, Madlib, name of our function. Then we put two parentheses, then we put a colon. We go to the next line. As we go to the next line, you'll see it's indented. Uh, every part of this function has to be indented, indented. each line has to be indented, indented the same amount um, or else it won't quite work right. So I go ahead and do that. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just um, welcome people to um, to my Madlib program. Welcome to uh, my Madlib. Okay, and uh, that's a simple print statement, and the message has to be surrounded in double quotes. Go to the next line, and now I'm going to begin to create the variables that will hold the different parts of my story. Remember, a Madlib is just a silly story made up of different words that a user puts in and then you string all those words together in some silly story. We're going to have a relative, a name, a noun, an adjective, and a verb. And so the way we do that is, for example, uh, the name of a, a relative, say an uncle, an aunt, a uh, brother, sister. We just simply put in the name of the variable we want to use, relative equals, and then we go um, and use the raw underscore input function. Um, Okay, enter a type of relative, okay? And we just go ahead and, and uh, type in a prompt, which is in quotation marks and inside a set of parentheses. And so that prompt um, will come up on the screen and the person will type in something like uncle, and that will be stored in the variable called relative. Okay, I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time and I've saved it to memory. I'm just gonna put it right out here, um, all my uh, variables that I created. So now I have relative, verb, uh, an adjective, a noun, and I think I need one more here. I just need a name, okay? A uh, name, you know, Joe, Sally, whatever. And uh, I'm just also going to go raw input, enter a name. All right. Okay, now I have my one, two, three, four, five various in um, variables, and I'm going to print out my story. So I simply say something like this. I start my story, my dear, okay, and then I insert the name of the relative, their name, okay, then my ing verb, which I um, ask them to input, and as you can see here, I'm separating each part of my story with a comma, okay, if it's a um, part of the story that doesn't change, it's in quotes, if it's one of my variables, it's uh, in black, representing that it's a, a variable name. Um, was well, ing verb, uh, along the road when oh, he, she was attacked you can't see that off the screen by a and then I put in quote adjective and um, comma now okay so let's move this over a little bit so we can see there I had my verb, then another string along the road when he or she was attacked by a comma, adjective, comma, noun, okay? And that noun represents the very, represents the very end of my string, okay? And um, that's it, my print statement is done, okay? I can go ahead and quickly save, okay? Save it anywhere, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Call it madlib, dot .py, remember you have to put a dot .py at the end of your file names or it won't work. And then I go run, run module. Okay, Madlib is the name of my function. I enter it, and there you go. It's, I'm going to put Uncle George. I enter for running adjective. Oh, how about uh, Red House? I can't type there. My dear Uncle George was running along the road when he was attacked by a red house. Okay. So it's kind of a silly story. It's a very short example, but you can see how it works. Hope that helps you guys understand this assignment so you can get it turned in. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.